So when we started the Munadara initiative, we were looking at the Arab broadcast sphere and the way people were talking and debating about the most important issues facing the region. And we realized that not only were these conversations dominated by men between the ages of 50 and 80, it was the very voices that called for change around the time of the Arab revolutions that were not participating in those critical conversations about the future of the region. So we started a debate platform that was entirely open to everybody through an online process. Youth were given the opportunity to submit videos on a given topic. And so we really brought down the barriers for people to enter the discourse. DDX provides Manazra's participants an opportunity to move away from the conventional adversarial debate format of a DD in which you have two sides supporting or opposing a specific motion into an open-ended format in which we put forward a hashtag, in this instance others have a right to, or en, to allow participants to complete that sentence uh, in whichever way they like and also using whatever medium of expression they would like. So they don't have to just use spoken argument as they would in a debate, but they could use song or poetry or rap or stand-up comedy or interpretive dance, all surrounding the question of the rights of others. What we're hoping in this particular event is that we can reorganize the way people think about rights from one that focuses on themselves to an understanding of rights that focus on recognizing the rights of others and recognizing that their own rights are built upon a recognition and a respect for the rights of others. أنا par exemple نفهم اللي حريتي هي إني نحكي نحكي كم نحب فهمت سيئة إني كتير عنيدة كتير عصبية بتعامل معهم ووصلهم إنه هاي فكرة كويسة يعني مش إشي غلط يعني أنا بعمل إشي كويس مش إشي غلط بيت بوكس يعني تسمع موسيقى فم الأردن بيعاني من البطالة والواسطة بيعاني من كتير عنا مشاكل ما حدا بسمعنا الناس زهقت في مصر عامة يعني نعم يعني بقى في زهق يعني خلاص انا ما عادش هتكلم بقى عن الحرية عن العدالة اعتقد هذا رأيي الشخصي انه تونس اكيد فيه بعض الايجابيات يعني الثورة ولكن من الناحية الامنية احسن كانت قبل الثورة هي ثورة في الـ في الـ في العقلية وثورة في الـ في الـ الثقافة يعني هي ثورة ذهنية اكثر من منها لتغير وضع سياسي ولا غير وان شاء الله ان شاء الله يعني يوم من الأيام أهديكم كتاب. إيه موضوع الكتاب؟ ما هذا المشكلة اللي خلاني التو ما كتبتش معنا. تونسية الحق تونسية ولكني أنا بما أني عربية أنا أقول أن إحنا أمة واحدة يعني من تونس كل البلدان العربية يعني أنا أشوف لي إحنا كلنا عبارة على دم واحد. Manazra films throughout the region in different cities, and each of those cities presents a unique challenge. مفهوم الحرية يتباين. In each of these locations, we have to really study the situation and come up with a plan that allows these episodes to be filmed as seamlessly as possible. The performance coach, Hany Mitnawi, who we brought from Egypt to help prepare the youth participants for DDX3, has been incredibly helpful. He's been working with each of the young performers on their technique and how to engage with the audience, how to engage with the cameras, and how to really bring out uh, the message that they want to deliver through the art form that they've chosen to use to express it. Yeah. Hanny has an incredibly versatile knowledge of the performing arts as well as a strong understanding of how to engage with an audience, not only live, but also in terms of a broadcast audience. 
So he's really been an incredible asset to making this episode come together. Each time Manazar brings together its youth participants for the filming of a specific episode, it's always interesting to see the interaction as youth from across the region come together and meet each other for the first time. On top of that, with DDX, in which we have various types of artists, we get to see a collaboration happen as well. <laughs> So overall, it's always a really incredible experience to witness that interaction and how people come together and at times forge lasting friendships. We've got an excellent production team that's been working with us now for several months. Here in Lebanon, they've really gelled very well with the local staff at the studio. They've got a huge amount of talent. They participate in productions throughout the Middle East and their experiences have been a huge asset to us in our efforts. It was really exciting to watch our youth participants get to visit the studio for the first time and be on set and have the experience of the lights, the cameras, the, uh, the whole production setup. The challenge was exacerbated by the fact that they're working in a 360 degree setup. So one of the key inspirations for the DDX format is the ancient Greek Agora, where citizens used to come together on a regular basis and freely discuss issues of common concern among citizens. So the 360 setup really is a reference to that in the sense that the citizens are permanently surrounding the speaker or performer in the case of DDX and listening to an inspiring vision of somebody who's trying to convince them about their vision for a better future of the region. Hanny was there alongside our production team to help them familiarize themselves with the setup, with the camera angles, with the lighting. Naturally, in the build-up to the, the competition the evening before the, uh, the final broadcast, in which we have everyone perform a four live audience and then select who will go on to the live broadcast, there's a lot of nerves, there's a lot of stress. Um, everyone has been working so hard for this moment, and only a handful of them are going to be able to continue. <laughs> Behind the scenes, they didn't treat it as a competitive uh, situation in which they were trying to undercut one another or outdo one another. Anytime someone came back from having performed, they were greeted with hugs, handshakes, high fives. All of them wanted to see one another succeed. And I think that's a really beautiful thing about the youth that we bring in is, is, is their positivity and their, their support for one another and getting through what can otherwise be quite stressful. Our five finalists who won the competition the night before the live broadcasts are Laith, a rapper from Jordan, Musa, an interpretive dancer from Tunisia, Sama, a debater and someone who will be putting forward spoken argument from Morocco, Rania, also offering spoken argument from Tunisia, and Marina, who's mixing a theatrical monologue with a song. It's always just really great to kind of uh, to see what happens next. I mean, so many of these uh, young people have gone on to do incredible things, and Manazra helped give them kind of a launch pad for that. And it's really a rewarding part of this work to see them succeed beyond the episodes that we filmed for Manazra. And I think that a lot of them have a really bright future ahead of them, and I can't wait to see what they do.